In the heart of Africa, far from the crowds of mass tourism, is a land unique in its natural diversity. It's also home to some of the world's most welcoming people. This well-kept secret is known only to the discerning visitor, someone who wants something different from the normal two-week vacation. The name of this land is Uganda. Visitors arrive in Uganda at Entebbe, an airport served by flights from all over the world. Although the volume of traffic is growing, the airport can handle passenger numbers easily. Getting into the country is a short and straightforward experience. Kampala is a bustling metropolis. Seat of an ancient kingdom long before colonial times, the city draws Ugandans from all over the country. Here you can easily see the national character. In a city with one of Africa's lowest crime rates, these are a diverse but peace-loving people, with different faiths living side by side. East of Kampala, near the town of Jinja, is the site of a bitterly contested prize for early European explorers. It's the source of the longest river in the world, the Nile. A short boat ride can take visitors to the exact spot. This is the source of the Nile. On my right is Lake Victoria, and on my left is River Nile. This is where it begins its three-month journey all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. But what starts as a haven of tranquility becomes a raging torrent just a few kilometers downstream. Here is a paradise for whitewater rafters. Good. Okay, get up, get up! Up, 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 paddles up, paddles up, The Nile is a lot better than other places because there's not as many ro rocks, but there's way more waves. I've done it in California and Colorado, but this is totally different. Way bigger rapids and not so many rocks, so super fun. As the Nile winds its way across the Ugandan plains, it passes through the largest protected area in the country. Murchison Falls National Park covers nearly 4,000 square kilometers. The variety of life here is spectacular. The Plains game alone are worth a visit. But a cruise up the Nile itself from one of the lodges reveals hippos, crocodiles, and hundreds of species of birds. At the end of the journey are the falls themselves. It's here that the world's longest river is squeezed into a chasm just five meters wide before crashing into the broad floodplain below. 
Whether the falls are viewed from the bottom or the top, the site is spectacular. A park much less visited is Kidepo. In the far north, it's the most isolated protected area in the country. But its very remoteness is part of the appeal. Murchison, it's home to a profusion of game, but in some of the most unspoilt, tranquil landscapes in all of Africa. At the foot of the Ruwenzori Mountains is Queen Elizabeth National Park. Along with the plains game, a boat trip along the Kazinga Channel offers close-up encounters with hippos, crocodiles, and a profusion of bird life. But what really sets Uganda apart from its neighbors is the abundance of our closest relatives, the primates. Gladys Kalemaziko-Soka is a world authority. Uganda has over 440 mountain gorillas, which is over half of the world's population of mountain gorillas. We also have many monkeys within the forests. We have big viable populations of chimpanzees. This is really important for tourism because the parks that generate most income for tourism are those that have primates. In Lake Victoria, Ngamba Island is an hour-long boat trip from Entebbe. Here, a sanctuary is home to chimpanzee orphans that have been rescued from all over the country. The island has 95 acres of forest where the chimps can live as natural a life as possible. That's yours, my man. Eddie. 200 kilometers to the west is Kibale a huge forest that hosts the greatest concentration of primates anywhere in East Africa. Here, chimps can be seen as nature intended. And after picking, they just eat. Ticks is part of the chimpanzee diet. That's why you are seeing them. But Uganda's most prized assets are to be found here. Bwindi impenetrable forest is the home of the mountain gorilla. Here, organized treks bring the visitor face to face with one of the most endangered species on the planet. From here we shall get the chance to see the silverbacks, the adult females or mothers of the babies, the juveniles and the infants. Uganda, home to some of the most pristine landscapes in Africa. Some will come for the wildlife, others will come for the people. For others, the great forests and the plains alone are what set this country apart. For anyone who wants to escape the tourist crowds, the secret garden of Uganda is waiting and hard to resist. <laughs> 